Mr. Kretlin here with lesson number 14, and we're going to jump in with number one here. There's only one problem on this page. It's got several parts, but it is just one problem, and it's what we've been doing the last week where we take these proportional relationships, we graph them, we write equations, we have tables. It's kind of all coming together here, and the relationship that we're looking at is volume of measured in cups – uh, to the same volume measured in tablespoons. So it's just like a conversion, tablespoons to cups. Three cups is equivalent to 48 tablespoons. So that's the point that you're about to see on the graph. Three cups per 48 tablespoons. You're going to see that. And then we got to do some things with this. we got to plot and label at least two more points that represent this relationship. So we know that 348 over 3 and up 48 is on there. Notice that they're counting on the y-axis by ones. One, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. So that's going to help us plot. So if this is a proportional relationship, that means that there is a relationship of a constant between these two points right here. What I think is helpful to find out some other points that I could plot would probably be two and one. So to help me do that, I'm going to make a quick little table right here okay so I've got cups and I've got tablespoons 3 is to 48 now I can quickly find my constant of proportionality by dividing those two numbers 3 into 48 once uh, with a remainder of 1 drop down your 8 it goes into that 6 times so I know that my constant here is 16 so if I've got one cup, I've got 16 tablespoons. And if I've got two cups, I've got 32. So these ordered pairs, 1 and 16 and 2 and 32, are going to pop up on this graph. Okay, so 1 and 16. Here's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That dot's going to pop up. And 2, 32. Here's 30, 1 and 2. Those two dots should show up. So it says plot and label, I believe. So I'm going to label this one as 2, 32, and this one as 1 and 16. So I've plotted the two extra points that I found with my constant. Plot and label at least two more. Check. Use a straight edge to draw a straight line that represents this proportional relationship. Okay. So I've got a straight edge tool. You might have to use a ruler or a piece of paper with a straight edge along the side and then just connect all uh, three of your dots that you've created. There's our straight line. So part B, we have done that. Check there. For which value y is 1, comma y on the lie you just drew? Well, we've already done that. When x is 1, y is 16, so we can write 16. So 16. What is the constant of proportionality for this relationship? It is that value because when x is 1, y is the constant. We've talked about that this week. And we got to write an equation. If we've got the constant, that's pretty easy. We're going to use C for cups and T for tablespoons. So our equation would be multiply C's times 16 to get T. And that would look like this. T equals 16C. And there we go. You also could have written, I guess, if you wanted to, a 16th of T is equal to C. I would accept that. All right. And that's the, that's the only problem on that page. So... No more for this one. I think there's one more problem on the back of this page. I'll knock that one out in the next video.